Hello and welcome to Orcus365. This is Roxy and this is a video of an update of my Aroid growing area inside my home. The one you're looking to my left here, the one that you are looking at. So right here to my left, we have Jose Buono. I don't know if you recall, I did a repop video with him last year so much growth it's out of this world right now he's pushing out a new leaf which i see lots of variegation on it's sitting in the pot where i did the repot video and it is sitting in the aroid mix which is a very very chunky mix i water these indoor plants i try to do it once a week but i always test the media to see if they need it um i'm gonna have to attach it to one of my moss poles because it's already leaning this way and it's already starting to grow its aerial roots um so that may be a fun video i do have a i do have another philodendron white wizard that was on this side which i moved to the other side and i'm going to show you where it's sitting um i have a species file that um, came home with me from crawl right here um, I have this beautiful Giaho blueberry, which is from Brendron. It's their original cross and it smells like Fruit Loops. And guys, I'm super excited because this is the first time that I grow and bloom an orchid indoors. It was something that I didn't think I could do. Took a, I'm taking advantage of the humidifier and the lighting and this orchid pushed out a whole new leaf since I bought her and this whole spike and now I have flowers so this is a big deal for me because this is something new that I've never done before so I'm excited and it, it's something that's given me an idea to have a little a fowl species grow area in another side of my home which I'll be showing you um, I'm gonna show you down here I have the philoric one that I bought at um, at the redlands not only is she still in flower she pushed out another spike and is starting to open sorry about that look at that and just a reminder i have the id see, right here in case you don't want to see it again i mean i know i showed it in the redlands hall but just in case I love her and she's gonna stay here. I haven't repotted her, she's in the same. I just used this decorative vase um, that doesn't have a, doesn't have drainage or anything for now until I figure out which pot I'm gonna put her in. Um, this is a little flower agate that I got from Robin Nola. She's um, an artist and a friend here on, um, on YouTube. Beautiful, beautiful items that she offers on her shop. She's also a small business. When the light hits the flower agate, it is magical. It's so, so pretty. So I have her here because she complements my fowl very, very nicely. And this is for fun. And when the light hits it, it also does complement the plants really nicely. Um, this is my Monstera elbow that I bought a cutting. And I'm telling you, a cutting like a piece of stem with this one leaf that it came with, which... I don't want to take off from um, Camila and it was a wish list plant for a long 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 time I got a really sweet deal and I have grown it I mean if you see the other video and you see this one you're gonna see the change now this is my custom moss pole these pieces have been glued which is what I'm suggesting with the ones that I'm releasing now because the plants can get heavy, so I glued it. I like to use the, the clear Gorilla Glue, and I wait, and then I establish it, or you can fill it with moss glue, wait. I like to just glue it and toss the moss in there, and sometimes wetting it helps. Um, I'm gonna show you now, after I show you the plant, how it works, and then this always comes off in case you'd wanna water it from the middle. Her roots are already starting to find their way into it. I have one here that went inside. I'm gonna go around so you can see it better. Okay, I got distracted by this beautiful leaf as usual, but I'm gonna show you because this is where the light hits it, how important it is to give your variegated plants that indirect bright light in the morning when you have her inside. 
Um, if you do have them outside, which is fine, I have my Thai constellation outside. You just have to be careful it's never direct and bright morning sun is best. And as you can see, it maintains the variegation. Like you also want to make sure you get one that you can see a lot of it on the stem. The swirls of green and white. So this is what I wanted to show you. It's already finding its way into the pool to grab on just as they do in nature. This butterfly is a beautiful plant crystal. Um, I found this uh, small business on Instagram. It's just called Plant Crystals. Her name is Lindsay, and they ethically source crystals. And her husband, Dave, puts them on these beautiful stems, and they beautifully adorn your plants. So I have a butterfly. I also have that unicorn on this side that they put on the stem for me. And when the light hits these crystals, I promise you, it is out of this world. So I want to show you about my um, moss pole system and why it took me so long to get it done because it's a uh, double function, multifunction. So I st I'm sticking with these two designs. This one is, uh, I call it the circle design and this one I call it the ovals more like scalloping, reminds me of scales. I really like this one. I like both. We wanted to make a design that's um, user-friendly for our roots. We want the aerial roots to be able to pop in there without struggling. So it's very important that you have a moss pole that assists them in that, especially when you have these big plants. So I'm gonna show you real quick how this works. So I have a starter kit, right? The starter kits include two of these, which are six inches. Um, the bottom, the top lid, and the stake. It's all going to come to you in pieces and it's going to be up to you how you want to use it. The reason why I'm selling them in separate pieces is because if you have one of these and you want to make it pretty, you don't want to put the moss in there, but you want to make this look more pleasing, especially if you have it indoors, then you're going to go ahead and you are going to cover it with this. And you're going to notice that they snap right into place. So you're going to put these together. Of course, I'm not going to glue them. I'm just showing you how they go. And this guy is going to fit right in there. And then this bottom piece is made like this. So that if you already have a stake and you don't need the one that it comes with, then it covers it neatly. Then... You have your lid, you put it, bloop, and you're done. So you have this system where you don't need to use the stake that the kit comes with. However, if you do change your mind, you still have it. When you have this, and I will show you because I will be doing videos putting my plant on one of these, and you can have a better idea on how it's done. But if you don't want to use that one, if you want to use your own, you see this? You can just put it in here. A little bit of pressure in it not too much this is plastic as thick as i print it you put a little pressure and you glue it actually I, I made it so that it doesn't fall off i like to glue things that's just you know look at that it's flawless so this is not being glued yet and it's already you can feel it's kind of hard to take off so again you attach everything you put it in the bottom i highly highly suggest that you glue this you glue this you let it set you know maybe overnight you know and then you can fill this or you can go ahead and just glue everything. The only thing I don't want you to glue is this. Never, never, never glue the top. You want the top to be removable for watering purposes, for filling your moss or whatever. So this is an idea that I got um, almost yeah, a while ago, like a year and a half or two years ago when I started um, growing more aroids. I wanted something more functional that I could not find anywhere. So um, I've been tinkering with this. This is hard. Um, this is one of a kind. This takes me a long, long time to make. So please be patient. I'm trying to offer a lot of new colors. I'm going to offer the starter kit, which is this. And then I'm going to offer the single pieces. So as your plant grows, you can go ahead and add. However, I'm always open to DMs, emails. I love emails because emails help me organize. Sometimes if you sent me a DM on Instagram, 
everybody else that sends me a message and then I'll just go down to the bottom and I won't find it. So if you really, really need something from my shop, all you have to do is send me an email um, with your name and the details and the, the design and the color and I'll be more than happy to do custom orders, especially now in the summer when school is out. So I hope this helps you understand the concept of what I'm making. I'm looking forward to showing you more. Um, I'm happy to show you this beautiful update of my Averades and I can't wait to put him on one of my poles. Thank you for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed this quick little Averade update and the fabulous news that now I'm going to start trying to grow some um, species fowls. What I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the next video to show you the other uh, philodendron that I'm going to put on the moss poles and to show you the plan that I have for the next setup which I think I accidentally let you peek here in the corner. It's not gonna go here, but anyways. And before I forget, I got this anthurium. I hope I said that. Um, she scares me a little. They say these are finicky. I got it at the Redlands and she's still alive. So she does have a little bit of a burn here, but I did get her like that. Very, 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 very sensitive. Extremely sensitive to the light. I was attracted by the length and the shape, the deep color almost like a satin like of the leaf if i can pull this off fine if not i'm not going to be too hard on myself so i have her in a shadier area i'm trying to figure out where to put her so i wanted to show you her let's see if i if i can pull this off i wanted to show her to you um it shows that i haven't had my coffee but anywho's enough yapping roxy i hope that you have found this video informative and i hope to give you another update really soon because I have a lot of beautiful aroids growing outside. As soon as the rain permits, I will shoot a proper video. And with that being said, always remember to please be kind and I'll catch you next time. Thank you guys.